Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. At the heart of the building and construction industry, grand building ideas come to a halt and remain that ideas. A good number of buildings have stalled because of a myriad of reasons, from running out of cash, the onset of recession, political instability, poor planning and failure to meet standard requirements. The Building and Construction Regulator, the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat or CTBUH, a building is deemed to have been never finished if the work on the ground begins and at some point it stops and thereafter there are no reports that state that the construction will go on. These stalled projects, which, if they'd come into existence, would have been in the list of the top 10 tallest buildings, were in Russia, Dubai, China, Qatar and the USA. Who knows, one of them would have clinched the title from the Burj Khalifa, which is currently the tallest building standing. Number 14. The Two World Center On paper, the design for Two World Center, otherwise known as Tower 2, was breathtaking. It was started in 2010, set up to mainly be an office complex in New York. The building was set to be 1,348 feet, with vanity height of about 70 feet. If the building was to be finished, the total number of floors came to 83 floors. The construction work for the building went on till mid-2013 and even reached street level. At this point, any more developments were halted until the building secured tenants. To date, the building has not been finished because the mere fact that getting tenants was becoming quite the hard task. At number 13, The Pinnacle This one was off to a wrong start if the optional names it had are anything to go by. The Pinnacle in London, United Kingdom, also known as the Helter Skelter, the Bishopgate Tower and the Defa Tower. The set height of the building was supposed to be 945 feet. The construction started in 2008 but was suspended in 2012 because of the Great Recession. By then, what was complete was the concrete core of the first seven stories. If everything would have gone as planned, the building would have been the second tallest building in the United Kingdom and the whole of Europe after the Shard, which is also located in London. In reality, construction slowed down mostly because there was no additional funding or commitment to let the space. A lot of considerations have been done to complete the building, but they've not yet come to fruition. At number 12, Dynamic Tower the Dynamic Tower in Dubai was to be an exquisite hotel and residential building with a height of 1,273 feet and 80 floors, complete with rotating capability. Each floor was meant to rotate independently and the shape of the tower would be constantly changing. A full rotation of the building would happen in 180 minutes. Designed by David Fisher, who further explained that the tower would be powered by wind turbines and solar panels, it was going to be the place to be any time you visited the lovely city of Dubai. Construction was proposed to start in 2008 before timelines changed to 2009. The goalposts have been shifting, shifting, shifting. As of 2020, the construction is yet to start and no official announcement has been made about the building site. Number 11. Wembley Park Tower The Wembley Park Tower or Watkin Tower in London, United Kingdom was ahead of its time when it was slotted for construction in 1892, and after a few years of no activity, the structure was demolished in 1907. The Wembley Park Tower was set to be 1,159 feet in height. The tower was supposed to be an attraction for visitors in Wembley Park to the north of the city. This initiative was led by entrepreneur Edward Watkin, who marketed it as the Tower of London. The plan was that this tower would be taller than the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the site of the tower is now a national football ground known as Wembley Stadium. Number 10. The Nakheel Tower The Nakheel Tower would have been 3,280 feet in the event it was completed. The company that had mandate to build it ran out of money in January 2009, barely a year after the construction commenced. Nakheel's group was in talks with South Korea's Samsung C&T, who built Burj Khalifa, Japanese Shimizu Corporation and Australian Grocon, Nothing became of the discussions, and with the onset of more financial issues, in December 2009, the project was cancelled altogether. Number 9. The India Tower The India Tower in Mumbai was set to reach the amazing height of 2,296 feet and was set to be completed in 2017 and earn its place among the tallest buildings in the world. Starting is always the easy part, which it did in 2010 only to stall in 2011. 
there was speculation that this was because of a disagreement between the developers and the Mumbai authorities. Number 8. The Russia Tower Set to stand at 2,008 feet at the Moscow International Business Center, the Russia Tower had a rough start. The tower's planned exact location changed up to five times. The Russia Tower in Moscow halted its construction in 2008, only a few months after it had begun. The construction was said to be on hold for the better part of 2009, but a few months later, it was cancelled. The plan for the tower, if it were to see the light of day, was to get to 118 floors, 101 elevators and a parking on the underground deck that would be enough space for 3,680 cars. Number 7. The Chicago Spire With the aspirations of getting to 2,000 feet, the Chicago Spire in Illinois, USA broke ground in 2007 and the construction started. The progress came to a halting stop when the US suffered the global recession. The design work had been complete and approved. The man who had penned the plans and designs was a Spanish architect called Santiago Calatrava. The building was in the hands of St. Patrick's athletic owner Garrett Keller of Shelbourne Development Group, Inc. The Chicago Spire was also aimed at becoming the second tallest building after the renowned Burj Khalifa. Since then, there have been a few proposals to reuse the site. Number 6. Doha Convention Center Tower After five years of hard work and labor at the site of the Doha Convention Center Tower, the project suddenly stopped in 2012. This was a special case, since unlike the other construction halts that had money issues, the money was all set for this one. There was collective fear that the magnanimous structure would eventually affect any flights that were set to fly in and out of Doha. The tide shifted for this building, work restarted in late 2013 after the completion of the new Doha International Airport. This was done on a new reclaimed land that was about 3 kilometers eastwards of the current airport. The plans to continue with the tower have never been revisited. It was set to be a 1,808-foot, 100-story building overlooking the West Bay of Qatar's capital. At number 5, Burj Al Alam. Burj Al Alam means World Tower, and with such an aspirational name, it had the best intentions. The planned 108 stories, 1,670-foot skyscraper was supposed to be located in the Business Bay area of Dubai. The plan was to have retail space on the ground floor, 74 floors of office space, 27 floors that were meant to be hotels and serviced projects. Construction started in 2006, but had many delays that slowed everything down majorly. Even the best laid plans fail. Construction of the tower was stopped and put on hold. This was after a good chunk of foundation work had been completed in 2009. Again, the global financial crisis was cited as the reason that the project had to be cancelled. Number 4. Palace of Soviets The Palace of Soviets was set to be a congress hall that spelled out opulence from the design that had been laid out. The reason its construction was stopped was not due to financial problems, but World War II. Four years of hard work had seen the building come up as planned, but everything came to a stop in 1941 following the German invasion. This crushed the dreams of having a magnificent 260-foot statue of Vladimir Lenin at the top of the 1,490-foot building. Lenin was the head of the Soviet Russia from 1917 to 1924. At number 3, Lam Tara Tower Standing at 1,624 feet, the design of the Lam Tara Towers was set out to have a two-tower complex that would come up on Dubai's main highway. Sheikh Zayed Road, opposite the Millennium Tower. The first tower was called Bin Manama Tower 1, and plans were for it to have 77 stories when it was complete. This building was, however, called off abruptly in 2010, two years after the construction had commenced. Number 2. Lighthouse Tower Designed by the Atkins architectural firm, the Lighthouse Tower was going to be in the same league as the DIFC Tower in United Arab Emirates. The plan was to have it at 66 floors and scaling the heights of Dubai's skyline at 402 meters. One fact made this tower extra special in that it would have an edge over the DIFC tower. The lighthouse tower was designed to be eco-friendly. The building's two towers connected by a bridge at level 10, which was 300 meters above ground, and the building was set to have a couple of sky gardens. For electricity, the plan was to have three wind turbines that generated 225 kilowatts 
and were 29 meters in diameter. They were to be on the building's south-facing side. In addition, the building was going to have 4,000 solar panels to generate extra electricity. The tower would then reduce its energy consumption by a whopping 65% and in the same breath reduce water consumption by 40%. This green building would not be like any other building around. There were even plans to have an environmental visitor center at the base of the tower. In 2009, when the tower culling was set to be done, things had to stop. And number one, the Farewell International. The Farewell International Tower in China was also known as Yanhua International Center. If it were to be completed, this structure would have towered the sky at 1,302 feet. The named architects were Helmuth, Obata and Kusabam, whose style for this structure was postmodern. This was envisioned as a super tall building that would be 88 floors of commercial offices but unfortunately, construction was halted as soon as it started in 1997. There you have it, the world's tallest buildings that never saw the open skies. The list is much longer and continues to grow every year. Is it that the architectural and financial plans are not well thought out for these stalled buildings? Let us know your insights in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up my next video.